What is up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and we are covering the top stories on VGM. So, the next big evolution in gaming is virtual reality. That is the thing that everybody's going crazy for. The Oculus Rift has made really big uh, headlines recently, and it appears that both Microsoft and Sony are working on their own virtual headsets. And it appears that PlayStation 4 is going to hit the ground running first. Now, a few weeks ago, I told you that we may be very close to seeing the PlayStation headset. Uh, they said that there were rumors that it could possibly be at the last games conference that came up, but it never did show. But there are reports today that, that were saying that that report was still true, that Sony was debating whether or not to show it, and instead they decided just to focus on the PlayStation 4 for this launch, which I think was a good decision on their part because, I mean, why show all your cards when you don't have to? Uh, Sony definitely has the momentum uh, going forward. They had it at the last game conference, so they could hold on to this and come out a few months later and say, hey, you want a virtual reality headset? We've got you covered. So today we're learning that back in May, Sony did indeed apply for a patent for a headset specifically for the PlayStation. Now, I've told you before with Sony's uh, headsets that they already had a headset that's out there on the market that you can watch like videos and movies on. That is not the same thing. Uh, that's getting really good reviews, uh, even though it's like super expensive. This is something different. This is specifically for PlayStation gaming. And see, I know that a lot of people don't have the uh, faith that I do in motion control capture like the with the PlayStation camera or the Xbox Connect. But see, I've got a pretty big imagination. And see, these are the things that I think about because I think whenever you start incorporating these different things like virtual reality, then motion controls becomes a lot more immersive. Uh, whenever you're reaching out and grabbing something and you're immersed in this complete world and you don't have six to seven feet in front of you and you don't have to keep your head looking at your TV screen and in this unnatural form. And of course, you know, right now uh, that aspect of completely immersing yourself in a world or or having one of those platforms where you can run in place on you know that doesn't make sense for the casual consumer but you know at one time owning a computer didn't make sense for the average consumer uh, but now we all have computers in our pockets that we walk around with they're called cell phones so it has to start somewhere and I think virtual reality is definitely uh, going to be the next big thing for at least the next few years and both Sony and Microsoft going to be investing heavily into this and the talk online does sound like Sony's device is just a few short months from being revealed and uh, could be on the store shelves by autumn of 2014 so definitely something to be excited about and to think about with your next-gen purchase that does it for me the red dragon post below let me know how excited are you about virtual reality is it something that you're interested in uh, me personally I, I mean I'm interested to see where the technology goes I'm happy that they're doing it uh, my only concern is I wear glasses so I'm definitely keeping that in the back of my mind but uh, maybe they they get that sorted out where uh, people can enjoy that as well of course people have contacts I have contacts I just don't want to go pull them out to play a game Anyway, that does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.